And now for a few words about Jody Rell, the reactionary governor. In a big picture sense, there are really two things that she was supposed to do this year. Manage state government and propose a balanced budget. The managing state government part hasn't gone so well. Unless you think that telling people to stop using paper clips demonstrates top managerial skills. And then proposing a balanced budget part has gone even worse. Unless you believe the definition of a balanced budget is a deficit of $2 billion. And I have to say, even for Jody Rell, not the strongest leader we have ever seen, her performance during this budget process has been a disaster. She started off by knowing that she was proposing a budget that was out of balance by more than $2 billion. And despite the numerous attempts by Senate President Don Williams and House Speaker Chris Donovan to get the governor to, nego to the negotiating table with substantive ideas to close the gap, we stand here tonight, two days away from the end of the session, and the governor still has not proposed a balanced budget. It's a remarkable failure of leadership. While the governor's been out busy not doing her job, the Democrats in the legislature, thankfully, have been doing theirs. They've passed meaningful health care reform that will ensure more people and lower the cost in the process. They've helped, they've helped working families by passing a bill to provide paid sick leave. They've, they've promoted good government by passing bills on regionalism, smart growth, and probate reform. And they've helped preserve democracy by giving the people a voice in case there's ever a Senate vacancy. And what has the governor done, done during this time? She issued numerous angry press releases to hide the fact that she's busy trying to sacrifice our children, our seniors, our schools, and our public safety. All so she can continue to do the one thing that she has done well since she's been governor, protecting the very wealthy from whom she refuses to ask for anything resembling sacrifice. Over the weekend, it was reported that Governor Rell said that the Democrats passing a resolution triggering a special session on June 4th was, and I quote that this was actually published in various newspapers, a shameful abdication of constitutional responsibilities, a surrender, and a failure of leadership. The nerve. Can you imagine that? There's a word for that. Chutzpah. This is like Dick Cheney calling someone secretive. All right, I'm here with Nancy DiNardo. My first question is, um, how do you feel about the Governor Rell and this whole budget situation that's going on here? She puts forth a budget that's $6 billion, it's $2 billion short, and we have a lot of infighting between the uh, Democrats, the Republicans, and the Governor's office. Uh, what's your feeling on this? I think it's, it's a real failed leadership that she has demonstrated, and uh, I always have felt that she was a reactionary governor, and what she does is reacts to what the press is pushing and whatever seems to be a popular issue. But the fact that on February 4th, she presented a budget that was $2 billion short of what it should have been is abominable. And I just can't believe that she continues to put forth a budget that does not balance and it is not meeting the needs of the people. And what is she doing in this last budget? She's taking away jobs. She's taking away eyeglasses for poor children. I mean, the things that she is doing just so she can say she's not raising taxes is unconscionable. I mean, I, I'm just speechless about what she continues to do and that she's not being called on it by this, the media all over the place, that they are letting her get away with uh, what she is doing. And the fact that in the legislative body, you have Republicans stalling and they're filibustering on every bill not to let things go through and so that their bills could come up. And these are very difficult times for so many people. People are losing their homes, their jobs, they don't have health care, and you have the Republicans filibustering and the 
governor is not responding to the needs of the people. So it's just frustrating for me. Now, um, on, on another topic that is dear to a lot of people, um, do you feel that the, the governor should sign the, 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 um, the bill abolishing the death penalty? Yes, I do. I happen to be one of those people who feels that this is wrong for us to be killing people. I do believe that you can give people a lifetime in prison, uh, 23 hours in solitary confinement. There's all different ways that people could be punished. But to be uh, actually killing people, I think, is absolutely wrong. And I think it tends to um, also hurt people who have been put in jail because they weren't able to afford good lawyers like so many are and that it tends to favor people who have money and I do believe that it should not be there. Now, um, the, the, new, the latest Q post just came out. It showed that the governor still has a high approval rating, although, we, we, you know, on one side she's got a high approval rating, but on the other side she's really not doing a hell of a lot. Um, what does the Connecticut Democrats have to do in terms of getting the message out there about the problems with the governor across to the public? Well, I think we have to do it in a grassroots effort because clearly people don't understand um, what is happening. And I think it's unfortunate that uh, people just see her as a nice person. But if you were to ask these people, because I often do, I'll say to them, you know, when they say they like the governor, I'll say, well, what has she done? And nobody can give me one thing that she has done that proved beneficial to people. So I think we have to continue to get that message across and we have to talk one-on-one -on -one and have it expand that way in order to get people to start thinking about, well, she might be a nice person, but right now in this budget process she isn't being a nice person and we have to start holding her accountable.